Hi YouTubers, welcome to my video and today I'm going to show you how to install Opcom or Tech2 China Clone if you've got Windows 10 and you're having trouble of installing this program. The first thing, just take out your CD and put it on your laptop or computer. I'm using Windows 10. Now you will need to copy all the installation files from the CD and put them on your laptop or desktop where you can access them easily mine i've just put them on, on desktop here then what you need to do is to connect your opcom with your computers or laptop setting Secure it. Now click recovery and then you need to go to advanced startup. Click advanced startup and you need to go troubleshooting and then startup setting. Here it shows you all the information and then you need to click next and right you can now tap in F7 from your keyboard. Wait the Windows to restart. The F7 it tells you that you can install program which are not registered by microscope. So once it has started, just go to device manager, click USB, and then you'll see yellow exclamation mark. Click them and follow the installation where you have put your, your files. Like it says, mine were on desktop copy them you'll see security message just click next to continue installation so it's successful now now i've got my box of zafira there's engine lights on and and the spanner is on there you can see I've started the car and uh, it won't rev over 2000 there and the spanner light is on so I'm gonna hook the opcom so now it has returned and see what's the issue with this car right this is my opcom China clone diagnosis gonna choose yeah mine is 2000 and uh, 2006 model gonna click uh, engine 1.8 and now once this open you need to find fault code and which is the first code. one and it shows the throttle current motor malfunction right I've tried to google this issue and I could see that something to do with the uh, wiring but uh, the issue was mine it was the fuse which i have removed and i forgot to put it put it back so once i realized that it was the fuse because from the information i got from the internet it might be wiring or fuse then i had to clear to put it back and then to click clear fault code so no DTC present and uh, I've closed down so the program it. and then I try to start my car again and here we are all right and before this issue I had also I mean all the lights inside the car were on I mean interior lights were on and would not go off so after I've cleared the fault code everything has been reset and now I'm okay I mean the car is working normal so thank you for watching and if you like this video please like it and share and subscribe as well